I watched The White Tiger, Dean. Ah, is this a sequel to The Richmond Tigers? No one knows what you're talking about. Someone out there will know. There will be an Australian viewer who will know what I'm talking about. will know what we're talking about or what he's talking about. That's what's up. Yeah. No, The White Tiger, did you see this pop up on your Netflix by any chance? Is that a joke? You know how long, you know, it's funny you say that. I have not even looked at Netflix for like a month, a good four weeks, right? Last night, I thought, you know what? It's been a while. I've given it a chance to refresh its content. Spent five minutes looking and went back to watching YouTube clips of Mario. Yeah, I'm not big on the old scrolling through Netflix uh, kind of thing. I generally, because i got my list of the movies, like, yeah, I'll watch this eventually one day. Like, this is a movie that I will watch. It's either really strong, great films. I'm like, yeah, I'll keep that there because I'll get onto a rewatch at some other point. Or films that I'm like, I haven't seen this, might be interested down the track. Hmm. Never really look up anything else on there. Hmm. Yeah. I look for documentaries. Netflix does have a lot of good documentaries on there. They have a lot of documentaries on there. Yeah. Jury's out on some of them. But The White Tiger is not a documentary. Ah, is it a foreign film though, Hendo? It is like a half foreign, half English film. Go on. It is about an ambitious Indian driver. Who, an ambitious Indian driver? Yeah, he's very ambitious. It's different. Starring newcomer Adash Gurav, who uses his wit and cunning to escape from poverty and rise to the top. Did you say, and rise to the top? <laughs> rise. <laughs> rise to the top, okay. Yeah. A lot of people were talking about it as like a Indian Goodfellas. As wait, well. wait, wait. A taxi driver... Yes. No, no, he's not. He's a driver. He's not a taxi driver. He's like oh, a personal I he's driver. A taxi- okay. Yeah. So a personal driver who wants to, you know, rise above his station. To a, like, not just, yeah, I want to get, I want to become like a, a limo driver. No, he wants to be like, he wants his own company. He wants to rule. He wants to be. When you say own the company, big do you mean like, like own mob family or do you mean own driving company? He just wants to be a big shot. A big shot driver? I don't know if it's a driver. I'm not going to, I'm not going to ruin what he wants to be. He just wants to be something bigger and better than what he is. Okay. Yeah. It is directed by Ramin Bahani, who did a terrible film a couple of years ago called Fahrenheit 451. Okay. One of my worst films of the year, that Mm. year. It is currently on Netflix, sitting at a 7.2. Check it out. (laughs) 7.2, currently on IMDb as well. Oh, I thought you were talking about Fahrenheit. No. I was like, (laughs) wow, okay. I was like... (laughs) I was like, so, no. <laughs> You're talking about the other film. I thought you were talking about the other film. No, no, I don't think. White Tiger 7.2. Yeah. This is a good film. I, I did enjoy this. Go on. So, the newcomer, Adash Gurev, is basically in every single scene in this movie. Nice. He carries this entire film. Is it like Taxi Driver? It's nowhere near like Taxi Driver. Because he doesn't drive taxis. No, he doesn't. Hmm. He's a personalised driver for a, personalized? Very, for a very rich man, and he wants to sort of ingratiate himself into that company and ah. he uses tricks and swindles people to get what he wants, basically. How is this half foreign, half English? Because there's a lot of times where they're speaking English and then there's times where, say, he will go back to his native town and they're speaking Indian. Okay. Yeah. It is an interesting way of looking at the class structure as well, especially in India, obviously, because you've got the very... Not obviously. Well, it's an Indian film and he lives in India. Yeah, but so. I don't know about the class structure in India. So he comes from a very poor slum town and he moves into the city where you've got the rich people who don't really think highly of the poor people. They don't, he doesn't, don't treat them right. So it's good to see this man who's come from the poor starting to get his meteorical rise into the rich. I think the cinematography in this film, very, very good. Very luscious locales of India out there. From the slums to the nice green fields out to there. To the millionaires. To the millionaires, of course. To the, you know, the big high-rise buildings that are out there in India. It's a very good-looking film. I think this got a lot of buzz because Priyanka Chopra Jonas is in it. Wow. Without even looking. I'm impressed. Well, she is the wife of one of the Jonases. Don't know which one. But my wife and kids love the Jonases. They always talk about this Priyanka, Priyanka Chopra and she's in it. So she was the big selling point. Like, you know, she's gone out there and, and um, promoted the film to everyone. So my wife's like, yeah, let's watch The White Tiger. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and... She's okay in it. She's not the central character, but she was. I guess she used her fame to promote this film a lot more than what it probably would have got if she wasn't in it. Mm, okay. I did mention that some people were comparing it to like a like a Goodfellas type. You I, did. I would say that intrigued more, me. I would say it's more of a City of God little vibe there. That's that's the vibe I was getting as I was I mean, going. That's into great. It. Yes, not obviously not as good as City of City of God, but you get that feel for it. Like there's a lot of quick I mean, cuts. City of God is often referred to as. You know, the good fellas of, <laughs> gee, is it Brazil? Yeah, Brazil. Yeah. yeah. 
So you're saying, listen, it's not really Goodfellas. No. It's more That's like... one step away yeah, from it. Yeah, yeah, okay. you got City of God is Goodfellas. White Tiger is City of God. I mean... That's very high praise. Are I, mean, we, are I would we, recommend it. Are we throwing out a banger today, Hendo? No, we're not throwing any bangers out. Nowhere okay. near it, all right? Oh, oh, oh. This film has problems, okay? All right, go on. The big problem I have with this film is the structure of it and the way it is told, okay? It basically reveals at the start of the film where he ends up. And he's like, this is my story. And it's like, oh, uh, no. Like, like a American Beauty, Carlito's Way, those bad films. Except in like American Beauty, I just got what you said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except in American Beauty, you don't know where he ends up. You just hear him talking. I mean, he starts by saying he's dead. So, yeah, you have some idea where he ends he up. He could be lying. Don't. It is mm. Kevin Spacey. Oh. <laughs> this is true. Yes. Now, you actually see what this guy is doing and where he is in his life when he talks about where he started from. And this film would have been a lot more intriguing if I did not know where he ended up. Okay. Does it start with him sitting on a throne surrounded by white tigers? And he's like, let me tell... Oh, I won't do an accent. Let me tell you how I got here. No. Oh, okay. The way he's talking, doing voiceover, he's actually writing a letter to the Chinese president, which which ultimately goes nowhere. Like, there was no point to doing that. Okay. Is there any tigers in this film? No. <laughs> which, I know, big disappointment. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's because he is referred to as the white tiger. It's not about white tigers. It's the way he is so aggressive in his tactics to get where he wants to that he gen- he eventually gets referred to as the White Tiger. But also, since the way this story is told and its structure and we know where he ends up, this film goes for over two hours. Mm. There's a lot of filler in the middle of this film. Like It starts off really strong, like the, the, the beginning of his story and and his small rise to where he is. But then it really... Does it start like- out with... You said voice over, yeah? Like, yeah. all my life I wanted to be a driver. No. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it gets to a point where he's at where he's at. It, there's a there's a big plateau in the middle where nothing really happens. I'm like, okay, come on, let's get let's get going. We yep. know what happens. Yep. Move on with it, and it doesn't. And it takes a really long time. My interest definitely dropped. Still, it is a very interesting story. Great performance by Ardash Gurev. His first role. I think he'll go on to do a lot of good things from here. I'll give it three and a half stars. Oh, nice. I yeah. might check it out. Well, it is on Netflix. What are we plugging Netflix now? I think they're. I think they're okay. It's Netflix. <laughs>